Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to Last Day Enough Survival. Today's video, as promised last time, we are going out looting. We're going to be doing a revenge raid, and then if it's not that good, we will add in a normal raid as well. We're going to be opening up all the ticket crates in Bunker Alpha, all the special boxes in Bunker Bravo, a floppy disk, and some purple boxes in Blackport PD. However, I'm going to have to wait two days, 16 hours, to record the Blackport PD section of the video, unfortunately. Hey ho! Okay, player 8490. Oh, and I've got the raiders coming to attack me in an hour and a half. Because I've got to steal this. I don't need to give them anything. And I can chuck a landmine underneath them and get some free stuff. And this episode, of course, is all about looting. Right then. Let's see what we get. Okay. This is an interesting design base. Oh, I do not like the design of this base one bit. Please don't have a third section. Right. <laughs> I see what they've done. We don't know where to break into. Player 8490. Never mind. It is all open planned. That's just going to make this... Oh, don't stand there. You die. Boom. And it's all nice and open. And look, we got a free generator. And it's even going to let me take it back to my base. Aren't oh, I a lucky ducky? I do hate walking with a generator though. It's so slow. I wish you could use your abilities like roll with it. Or throw it. Has anybody else noticed lately that a lot of raids don't have their own chopper? Which makes no sense to me if you look at the base. So look at this massive stone base and their chopper. Not yet done. It's just a little bit weird what they've done to their ATV. I'm guessing nothing. Yeah, none of the new items since raids haven't updated since then. And for those saying, raids have updated, you can find the swamp decorations. You can't, well, you can, obviously. The only swamp decorations you're finding are the ones that the radio tower replaced. So on a raid, if there was a radio tower, it turned into the swamp tire bed. One, two, three. Yeah, we're just going to go around and do it like this. It's going to be risky. We're probably going to end up fighting the big one. Which, I still don't get why he's in raids. There's no reason for him to be. But hey-ho, we're going to have to wait a very long time, if ever, to see raids change. Because unfortunately, changing raids will not make Kefir any money, really. Unlike seasons. Okay, we've got... Uh, there's so many of these boxes. Oops, didn't mean to open that. And it's empty. Okay, so we are now using our lovely metal hatchets. And you can all die. I got my trusty multiple VSS because I can't save the SSs. Okay, good. Thought that one was going to break open. I'm expecting most of these boxes to be completely empty, which, to be fair, isn't a bad tactic for defending your base. If you just get every single box, have them all in one room together, don't color code anything, and then when people break in, they don't know where to go for. you got 40 boxes there. Okay, we're going to start over here. 18 oak. 20 oak logs. I'm sensing a theme. My electronic circuit. Ooh, charcoal. Don't mind if I do. I'm more than happy to get charcoal in a raid because I need to make more steel because I'm almost completely out of it. Hey, we completed a task. Go us. Unfortunately, I haven't yet gotten the next level in the survival... Um, not survival guide. Season pass. Survival guide is definitely the wrong thing. Ooh. Want these. So we can break one more box. The next box we break is going to summon the big one. So hopefully there'll be something good in this little box that we like. Not really. I'm probably going to stash all the charcoal in my base, I think. In my base. In my, um chopper. Oh, heads up people, you cannot do the suicide trick on raids anymore. If you die, that base will be gone. So, don't do it. Don't risk it. It's not worth it. Um, let's equip you. So we've got the roll warming up. We've got self-healing. Gonna try and get all of these box opened and not die to Tebow. 
we got anything in here? New. Right, charcoal it is, because I care most about this. And we'll take that full 18 stack. Say full. Full stack of 20. 18 is close enough, I think. Alright then, let's try not to blow ourselves up or die horribly. This is going to be a long video. We don't want to ruin it by dying at the start. I need that. I need that more than this stuff. At this point, I'm happy if I get nothing else. Actually, I can't think of anything else at this moment I would prefer to get. Nope, not risking it. Nope. He's doing too much damage now. Time to go. Whew. Not the best raid ever, but you know what? I got what I needed, and that is what raiding is all about. Over at Bunker Alpha now to open up all three of the boxes. You know what? I should have bought a finger to open up that room as well. Oh well. Hindsight and all. And let's get you and you. And we will do this. And then we will do this. Wonderful. And we'll go from the least to the best. So, starting out, we are getting a Glock and... Yeah, you know what? That's decent green box. You've got an engine part in there. Getting yourself a chopper gas tank. Not going to complain about that. can use that to upgrade my chopper a little bit more. And finally, for the big one, we have gotten... What mod have we got in there? x Sight. Not an active mod, but we got a C4. That's always nice. I'm actually going to... You know what? I probably should take these items because I know me and I know I will forget to actually loot them. And the bunker will reset and I will just lose everything. Which is never a good thing. Let's grab that, 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 and that. Beautiful. What are we getting from you? More iron ingots? New. No. And of course we're going to open up a floppy disk as well. Hello you. Right. Um, no, what am I doing? Here, there we go. It's been a while since I cashed in a floppy disk. And there we are. So, I also have 289 blueprints here. Let's open up some of these. See what we get. I'm going to guess most basics and one blue. Oh, two blues. Oh, and I can't click on the button. And that one. Hey, we got two of the heavy handle. We got the metal pointer. Reinforced bow. Tactical stock. Parang blade. Hunter handle. Reinforced handle. Extended magazine. Bone pointer. And unfortunately, I have got all of those mods. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've got all of the mods in the entire game. Floppy disk time, and we've got a toxic abomination to shoot in the face repeatedly with our lovely VSS as well. And hey, it's not an infected one. That's good at least since I've got a few bits in my acid bath back at my base at the moment, I think. Ooh, that was quite a full box. I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's get these. I'll take a lens. Some steel plates. It's not the best one I've ever opened, but you know what? It's not the worst either, and we even got some white paint as well. Um, and no, that's everything we can get. Beautiful. Right then, I will hop back over in three days' time once the Blackport PD is reset. Hello people, it's been three days since that last clip. The Blackport PD has reset and we are opening up our five purple boxes, continuing our process of mass looting. And there we are. And this time we are getting a tactical stock. We are getting the red laser. We are getting the X4 sight as well as the triple muzzle brake. And the red dot sight, so not a single active mod again. Unless the red dot sight, uh, that might, the red laser might be an active mod, but I don't think so. And we only got five steel plates as well. That kind of sucks, if you tell me, if you ask me. Yeah, five and five, ouch. Well, that definitely could have been better, but you know what? That is some good guns we've got at least. We've got one Winchester, which is always a shame. But the rest seem to be pretty decent. I'm not too happy about the M16s, but oh well, I'll take it. And I think we should next jump over to 
Mm, let's do a floppy disk next. Attempt number two, because I forgot to click record the first time. Ignore the fact that the box is already opened. I've just put the stuff back in. We are over here to get our lovely floppy disk and boom! This is the loot we're getting. It's not exactly in the right order, but there we go. It's definitely one of the worst sloppy disks. We got a grenade launcher, but we only got tactical armor. I'm still so happy that they changed it so you get a full set of armor, not just a single piece, because that made absolutely no sense, but whatever. If that's what Kefir's gonna do, that's what Kefir are gonna do. We are, however, getting the usual bits of C4, but only one steel, which kind of sucks. Oh well. I'm thinking after this, we're probably gonna have to do Blackport PD. I'm not Blackport PD. Why did I say that? Already done Blackport PD. We're gonna have to go over and do Bunker Bravo. So enjoy a nice little time lapse. Welcome back people, I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse there. We have got all of our bunker crates cleared and to do that we used... So I had this inventory filled with skulls, so we had 5, 10, 15, 22 and we have got basically 8 left. So we used quite a few guns there, hopefully we'll get something nice, realistically. I hope we will. Five carbon composite, two factory parts, so it's off to an all right start. And we're getting no more composite. We've got two more factory parts though. That's definitely not the worst thing in the world. And now for the big one. One more carbon, one factory part. Boom. And we didn't get any landmines this time. I've noticed landmines are really inconsistent. Got a, a few explosive compounds somewhere. Oh, we got one explosive compound. That's a bit awful. It feels like they've nerfed it because I was getting a lot more before. Or maybe I just got very unlucky this time around. Either way, I don't need that. And I do need that. And I will try my best to remember to come back for them. Right. I think I'm actually going to end off the looting video here. So we have opened everything in the game that can be opened at the moment, apart from the farm chest, but I'm not going to bother with that. Thank you very much for watching, people. As per usual, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, leave us a like and a comment and consider subbing below. Bye!